Hey guys, it's Jamie Lee from Kelly Ray Photography here on Etsy and I'm going to be doing another video tutorial to show you how to use one of our great Christmas backgrounds. This one is the Santa, um, Santa Snow Globe background that I'm going to be working on today and I thought that you guys might like to watch me do this really really quickly i've had a couple of people request this one because they either don't have photoshop they don't know how to use photoshop they want something nice quick and easy so this is going to be using completely free websites how to composite your own image like this without downloading any programs without needing any editing skills at all it's going to be just a few quick simple steps and i'm going to take you through everything so this is the background here that we're going to accomplish today and you can be you can sorry you'll be able to put your own photo inside the santa snow globe here um either of a family member a friend a pet any kind anything that you want really um so let's get to it the first thing that i want to show you is that when you download um, your digital files from this background after your purchase you'll actually get two base layers so this is going to be our first base layer with the mist and this is going to be our second base layer without the mist and you can choose either one of these to work with so the photo that i've used with the family this one does have the mist on it and i personally think that it looks better it looks more like a snow glow when you've got the um the snow and the snowflakes inside I feel like it kind of makes the subject pop a little bit more because it's got that misty kind of background behind it and I personally like it but I've added both backgrounds because I know it's complete personal preference so you can choose either to work with so you'll get both of these backgrounds and you can start with either of them um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was the photo that we're going to start with so this is the family photo that we're going to be using today it's against a white background which is the best starting point that you can get when you want to be using um, these free websites that I'm going to show you how to use so if you can take your photo of your subject against a white background it doesn't need to be as perfectly white as this it doesn't need to to have a proper backdrop screen or anything like that you can just take it against a, a white wall in your house or a light colored cream wall I just prefer if you don't take a photo with lots of things in the background um, when we get on to the next step i'll show you exactly why so let's go into it once you've taken your photo of your subject against a white or a light colored background what i then want you to be able to do is to go into your internet browser and go onto google now you can do this on your mobile phone or on your computer um, you don't need to download any programs or anything and this is all 100% free so I want you to be able to type into your Google search engine remove background from image I'd have I've already typed it in there um, previously so it's come up for me so just remove background from image we're going to go into this um, and I just want you to scroll down until you find this website. This website for me is first up just because I've done a few video tutorials now. Um, and so it's bumped it right up to the top of my Google page, but it might be down a little bit. So I just want you to find this one. It's www.remove.bg and click into that one for me, please. This is the website it's going to be taking you to. And what I want you to do from here is to upload in this blue box here, upload image, I want you to upload your subject image where you've taken them against the, um, the white or the light colored background. So we're gonna go into this for me and I'm gonna get my image. And I'm gonna open it up. Now what this background, um, sorry, what this website does is it removes the background from your image automatically you just have to press upload and it does it instantly for you so this is the original with the white background and then it automatically removes the background for you so this is a transparent background now so that's why it's really important that you don't have lots of knickknacks or furniture or anything like that in the in the background of your photo is because you don't want the website to leave those things in your photo unless of course you want it in your snow globe so this is again this is the original and this is the version with the removed background 
So this has a transparent layer and what we're going to do is we're going to download this. When we download it, it's going to be classed as a PNG file and the PNG file will mean that it will keep that transparent layer. So it's only the subjects that's going to that's going to be there. So when we use it in the next step, it's going to be nice and seamless. So if you can go ahead and download in this blue box, so click this blue box and it will download to either your mobile phone or your personal computer device, whichever one you happen to be using at the time. So that's now downloaded. And the next step that we're going to do is we're going to head across to Canva. So just open another tab in your internet browser and it's just www.canva.com. You do not need to sign up. And again, this website is completely free. Canva actually does have an app and you can use it in the app, but you don't need to download the app. You can do it completely from your web browser. I want you to go into this top right hand purple box up the top where it says create a design. And we're going to click that. So click into create a design. And we're going to go down into this middle circle here where it says edit photo. So click into edit photo, please. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose our base layer. So these are the two choices that you're going to have. You're going to have the base layer with the mist or the base layer without the mist. I'm going to be using the mist. So once you click into there, just select open. It's just thinking. Okay, so we're going to then click edit photo in this purple box here sorry it's taking a little bit tonight i'm not too sure what's going on all righty so it's just loading up for me now so that background is going to come onto this canvas and so once it's here we can add things to this so even if you think of this background as pages in a book we're going to add different pages on top of it so they're going to be called layers so we're adding different layers to create the completed image so once we have our background, our chosen background on our canvas, we're going to, to come over here on the left hand side under templates, elements, uploads. We're going to click into uploads, please. And we're going to upload media. And we're going to grab the PNG file of from the previous step. So where you've downloaded it from the remove background, we're going to find that one and it's going to be the PNG one. So we're going to click into that and select open, please. You can see here it's been uploaded without any background. So it doesn't have the white background anymore. So this is the PNG file. So it just has your subjects. Now, I don't want you to click and drag. I just want you to click it just once and it's going to pop over there. Perfectly. So now you can move them around. You can click on top of it and move your subject around. You can resize it as well. So I think I'm going to resize them. And what I want to do is I want to move them down so they're standing on the snow. Probably quite low. Okay. So you could resize them larger if you wanted or smaller. But just make sure that they're completely inside the, the snow globe. That'll give the effect that they're actually trapped inside the snow globe. Once you're happy with their placement, click outside of the background to get rid of that aqua colored square. Okay, so there's one more step that we're going to do after this. So we're going to go to upload media again. And we're going to click on this snowflake background. This is going to be included in your digital downloads. It's going to be in the same folder and it's going to be called snowflake. So we're going to click into that and we're going to open that one up.
Now, this is already a PNG file. I've already done the work for you. You don't need to do anything in the remove background from image website for this particular one. I've already done it and it's already in the same shape as the snow globe. So once that's there, you can see that the snowflakes are there and it has no background. So again, we're just going to click once. Alrighty. So now this is on top of our subject and we're going to slightly increase the size until we're happy with it. We can change the position. So I want to increase the size a little bit more. Make sure that all the snowflakes are in the snow globe. It's going to look a bit funny if the, the snowflakes are over here like this. So just move it around till you're happy with it. Okay, I'm going to increase a little bit more. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, then we're going to click outside the box again. Okie dokie. Now, once we're happy with it, that is your image done. You're able to click download up here in the top, in the top big banner up here, the white box that says download. If we just click into that and then come down to this purple box again, download. Now this is downloading onto, again, whatever you're working on, whether it be your mobile phone or your computer, it will be downloading onto there. Now you can use this on your social media. You can, um, sorry, um, you can use this on your social media. You can use this to print out Christmas cards. Um, you can print it out. Anything that you want to do now, you can do with this image. And it's been all completely free. And this is how we use this background. I hope this has helped. Thank you. Bye.